Welcome back everybody to come to play through of the King Arthur's Knight's Tales. We're on part number 18. And yeah, apologies again for the last you know, the last one where my frames just tanked. Don't know what that was, but I uh, hope it's fixed for this last video in my recording session. And as I mentioned the back end of the last one, we're going to try the right of the ones beneath. Pits are dragging away villagers from their homes and taking them to the ruins in the forest. Rumours are spreading about a haunted monastery and mysterious rumblings from below which means that this could be an even more pressing matter than usual i've also heard about a lonely knight who is pursuing the savages a certain sir leo de grance i remember him from britannia he could be a useful member of the round table yep obviously a high risk mission we've got the picked and we can recruit sir leo de grance let's go First mission above our level. So let's see how that plays out. I can sense the beasts writhing underground, gnawing blindly on the stuff of fossilized dreams and nightmares buried deep. Do these knights even know what lies below? This is a potential replacement for um well there's the pit obviously um it wants to look oh no probably there but that's where the final boss will be um potential replacement for sake if needed um let's start by heading off the beaten track here oh god finally you're here Look. You won't be the flower now. That is your punishment. Okay. Okay. Uh, no long range dudes. Your Highness. Um. Look at that. Sinner shall bleed. Kill him. None can stand in my way. Ready to fight. All right, if I was to do this. For my Camelot. Let's bring you to here. I am here to serve. None can stand in my way. Let's put an overwatch up. Move up one here. I am here to serve. And just a bit of that. Right. No mercy for the wicked. A little bit of that. I am here to serve. Um. Take a bit of this. I serve the Lord for my Camelot. Do that. Awaiting your command. Bit of cleavage. Time to feed the raven. Do that. And ow. This push him back one. I am here to serve. We can kill him actually. Shouldn't have taken damage there. I went to try and kill them here and it didn't quite work, to be honest. 
but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, that is the way I was going to go, so we'll go straight down. Actually, if that's the way they wanted us to go. I'm guessing this way could be locked. Not going to head too far in. Doesn't look locked, does it? Okay. Let's head up north this way then. Towards the bomb fire. Okay, so we're Worm of the deep. Onwards. Time to feed the ravens. Ready to fight. The Lord is my witness. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's just move down here. And kill this thing. I can take them all. Just set that up, just in case anybody does decide they want to come. He's going to... I am ready. Let's move you here. Power and glory. All right. you there and kill him. Push you up there. You can do that. Wow. I think I pushed the wrong button. Is the uh, crux of that one. Let's just slow you up. I am ready. None can stand in my way. <laughs> I am ready. If you hear you on. Shall bleed. Look at that. A bit of that. Again, Sinus is a level above, it's still pretty easy. It does make me want to actually push the uh the difficulty back up a little bit, but again, we're moving through these missions at a decent rate. A blessed spot Um what the? Go for some armor here. A brief respite or a prayer. Spite, not respite. Trinkets. The scroll. So it's the only problem of having the two ranged in there. They don't get the um. Well met, friends. I see the ritual armor. you here as well. I am Sir Leo de Grant's friends, and I am much obliged. I may have seriously underestimated the picked forces in this lair. Judging by the corpses, you shouldn't worry too much. I am a skilled warrior, but I was more talented at being king. I am a man of wisdom. Alone, I would have no chance in these caverns. What is this ritual of which you speak? A moon woman wants to summon a great maggot for transmogrification right. A what? You know about the worms of the earth, right? Of course, giant dangerous maggots crawling underground, so? Burrow queens are even more dangerous. They are intelligent.
intelligent, and someone with the right words and rituals can call them to the surface. For what purpose? These beasts are ancient creatures. From time to time, they need to shed their skin to rejuvenate. I don't like where this is going. You are a quick-witted one. Yes, the Great Maggot needs a huge amount of mortal flesh to shed its skin. We clearly want the same thing then. Join us, sir. Gladly. Together, our chances improve. I will lead you to the place of the ritual. Good. So, Leo de Grant joined the party. Right. Let's push on. Look, a shrine. Gain loot. Got Ector here. Finally hoping he might have got a, a decent weapon, but can't ask for everything, can you? Um we need to go this way. What's north? Damn these savage bowmen. We should play this very carefully, friends. Mind the archers. Yep. And there's the worms. Battle. It's okay, he's looking decent. There's unbreakable. What does he have? He's got that. I am ready. Uh... What are we waiting for? Let's get rid of that. If you hear. Let's push you here. There's more archers at the back that I've only just seen. Well done, Paul. I am here to serve. Sir Kay. He's got quite a bit of armor, so we'll tootle on up there. Push you up here. Make up your mind. Okay. I've just seen that I'm back getting backstabbed because I'm an idiot. Well done, Paul. Your Highness. Let's cleave. Uh, move in. I fight for honor. I am ready. Do this. Power and glory. Take like that. You can nuke her from afar. For king and country. Bless Totem down. None shall stand against me. 
Move up. Wow, he's taken some vitality damage. What are we waiting for? It's got killer. Is that dead? I am ready. Make up your mind. Bloody corner. I'm not even out of breath. Good. All right. Grab the chest. Manuscript. Head into this room. A dead end. A fine place to hide your loot. Where the foul maggots are burrowing deeper into the strange soil of Avalon. Oh, you clever bastards. That's fine. Your Highness? Uh, so I want no you. for the wicked. Let's do an AoE nuke here. Awaiting your command. A bit of that. A bit of that. And a bit of that. Awaiting your command. If I can push him up one, I can. That's such a good ability, I am not Your going eyes. to lie. Kneel before your king. Wouldn't mind taking out that dude. Your command. Alright. Blessings. Who are you? Fight for honor. Let's move up here. Okay. I am ready. Uh, power attack is a bit overkill. Stand in my way. And then with this guy, mind. you better take him down, and then because he's poisoned, he won't be poisoned anymore. Let's count the bodies, shall we? No, let's grab the loot. One-handed weapon. Going to need this? Sigil of light armor and a manuscript. Uh, okay, if we go straight. Probably going to be one more battle on the other side where the campfire is. Yavin needs to be a bit careful here. It's our opportunity to strike. The Moon Woman is sacrificing herself to make the Great Maggot even stronger. But be careful. Before the Maggot sheds its shell, it is almost impossible to injure the beast. to shed its shell. Alright. Knock back and knock down immunity. Blessings. Fight. 
for king and country. Do that. Ready. Didn't kill it. It's a shame. What does this do? Suffers so four damage to start their turn after every action. Just do that. Your command for my Camelot. Let's move up here. Bit of a waste, but awaiting your command. That's that done. Let's move to here. Ready. Uh, I fight for honor. No mercy for the wicked. Okay. Awaiting your command. Onwards. Not dead. Move to here. What are we waiting for? Let's drop a nuke down. Slow the maggots. All right. Your command. Ready to fight. Power and glory. Let's just move you over here. You can't be knocked back. At your service, my lord. Not enough to kill me. Wow. Take a potion here. It's power attack. He's still stunned, right? Yeah. Power and glory. Should kill it now. That was a bit tricky. Now, my friends. Our quest is almost over. It's more about because I've got vitality damage. As soon as I cut out of the still throbbing heart of this festering beast, we are ready to leave. Are you insane? Who knows? I might be, but my arcane studies gave me an idea about this heart, and that's all I will say about this. We'll talk about this later. We don't really have time to dwell on it anyway. Let's get out of here. Splendid. I think cause he's talked about Arcane. I'm hoping he can get some spell damage to go with the buffing that he was doing. Nice. Right. Yes, yeah, so we need to leave that way. I'm going to come here. I'm going to turn left. When we get out, I need to get some armor back on. I fostered the young King Arthur and fathered the finest knight of the round table. Well, there you go. What is this thing? That, my friend, is some armor. Well rested and ready. 
This is where they kept their prisoners. Like cattle. Then they butchered them like animals to feed their hungry god beasts. We must teach these savages a lesson they will never forget. Look. Look. Yes, I can see it. Don't worry. What do we have here? Swiftness. It's okay here. Because then he can hopefully bring out his earth breaker thing. The darn sight quicker. Thing I despise, it's kidnapping innocent souls. I had a daughter who was taken from her tower. I'm all too familiar with the pain this brings. Great three. Then up, and then we'll obviously get the battle at the end to get out of here. Weaklings won't leave this place alive. My suspicion was correct. These creatures are very simple indeed. As long as I have the heart of the great beast, they won't attack us. They will need some time to realize that it is not their queen here. Okay. Interesting. It's a mechanic we maybe need to learn for later. Maybe we'll get Still some help. Here. You should have run away, you animals. All right, let's. Do a bit of that. Make up your mind. Do this. Still only hits one. If I move up again, I can still use it. There's an archer, but be careful of. Less with him. Let's do this. I am ready. Attack. Let's just take him out. Make up your mind. Here. Can we drop our nuke? Can. And then let's just slow him up. Got a bowman over here, but he needs to come across. Good. Right. I am here to serve. Bit of cleavage. No mercy for the wicked. Let's kill him. Let's pick him up. Awaiting your command. Uh, uh, 
None can stand in my way. Take him. Lena will kill him. Attack. Your orders. This warrior. I am ready. Yep, we're good. Nothing serious. Awaiting <sighs> your command. Feel the pain. No mercy for the wicked. Just kill him. For king and country. This guy is going to get shrecked. Oh, he's invulnerable. Your Highness. Time for a bit of this. I am here to serve. And this. Easy peasy. That's it then. Our adventure is over, and you fought well, I must admit. Is that praise I'm hearing? I might have to rethink my former opinions about this new Camelot. Welcome to the round table, Sir Leo de Grant. Nice, nice, nice. Quite enjoyed that one, actually. Again, just a different type of uh, terrain. I like them because you you got corridors. It's here's what it is. It's a Modred. It does have ten less vitality, but that's fine. So it's just a Yavin. You know, fifty percent of incoming attacks armor breaking value. The last two armors is unbreakable. Oh, a Sage. I need a three armor. You are having that to my friend. Uh, she's healed. But we want you. Uh... Why can't I put that on? Vanguard and Sage. Surely he's a Sage. Maybe not. Maybe not. You. Might as well have that then. Weapon wise. 11 to 12. Damage until the end of encounter each kill. Damage is unarmored. Sure. Um, we gain three HP for each kill. Sounds good. Plus three damage during the first encounter after a rest. These two, the only things I can put on him. You can have that. Um, what have you got there? Globe gains 14 temporary HP for two turns. Frost armor. Chanted weapon. And the hero's HP drops to zero. All cooldowns are reduced by two turns. Long reach. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's look at Modred here. Cleave probably would be good. More HP, more vitality. Range attacks it. I've got a thunderbolt. More damage. More range. Quite like that. Reduces the armor. We're going to give this. And. Let's get more damage. So 
the K. That's probably what I should be using. The more he moves, the more damage he does. Like five percent. I think I robust here. More defense is going to be useful. Oh. Five plus nuts to grab for two turns. Any unit starts in the turn. Yes. I'm burning. Let's pick that up. Yavin. Yeah, let's just pick that up. Okay. Uh, you need some portions, my friend. Tempted to put this guy in instead of Yavin, though. We'll see. Uh, so they're generally okay. I think because he leveled up, maybe... He gets his health back, I guess. Uh, grants three armor to the selected hero. After consume gives permanent effect to the hero. I'm thinking, give that to Sir Ector here. Because he doesn't have any armor. Now he's got three armor, which would be decent. As he's going to be in my party. Right, let's back out. Got a new event. Pilgrimage. There are rumours of a miracle witnessed by monks in the nearby Golant Monastery. During mass, the bread and the wine suddenly turned into flesh and blood. Ever since the monks have been haunted by strange dreams and visions, worshippers, worshippers of the Christian faith are flocking to the site from the surrounding villages. The sceptics at the round table have their reservations about these miracles, but it wouldn't hurt to investigate purely out of curiosity. Yes, and landfowl. I'm not using you. Right. So what does that mean? What have we got? Curse of Sabors. Knight's Thorns. So probably do this. This to this. So do the sevens now. I wanted to do that just to get uh, Sir Leo de Grant. Um, yeah. I will... Put him in instead of Yavin just to see how that goes. But he's a marksman. I, he's just staying. So, yeah. We're going to leave this one here. Thank you much, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at stuff. It really does help me out. So there'll be some more. King Arthur the Night's Tale coming away shortly. But as ever, and as always, thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next one.